Hi, Matt here from Petovera. Petovera, we are your web marketing partner on demand, and we specialize in sales funnel design. In the video and article that I'm giving you here today, we're talking about how to set up a Google Analytics dashboard to help you track your sales funnel. Okay, so the benefits of doing this are twofold. Number one, it's going to give you peace of mind from understanding that the funnel is working on a day-to-day -day and even a moment-to-moment -moment basis because you're going to be able to see you're going to be able to see the prospects flowing through your funnel step by step in real time. And second, it's going to give you insights instantly into where the bottlenecks are in your sales funnel. And this is going to be useful in directing your SARC, your sales funnel marketing efforts going forward. Uh, because by identifying those gaps, you know exactly where your focus should be put. Okay, so let's give an example of you know what this looks like. Well, at Petalvera about six months ago, months ago, we launched our own uh, sales funnel blueprint info product, and we wanted to set up tracking for the funnel around this product specifically. So what we did was we selected uh, to track the key landing page, how many people were actually arriving at this page, uh, so how much traffic were we receiving at the, kind of the top of this funnel, if you will. Second step was how many visitors who arrived in that land, landing page were actually clicking through and going to the checkout page. And finally, how many of those people actually bought the product. So what does this look like? Let's take a look. So these numbers probably aren't that impressive because, quite frankly, as a business, we're more focused on our core services right now. Um, and this is kind of a passive income stream for us. But here at the top, you can see these. this is the tracking of sales that are occurring on a month-to-month -month bas basis for our uh, info product, uh, the Sales Funnel Blueprint. Here in the middle stage, we have the number of page views that the secure... Uh, checkout page is actually getting and here is the actual page views that we're getting for the course landing page itself. Now if this was your sales funnel the question would be okay well where should your focus be right now? Well let's say that you know this is just an estimate uh, we're getting about 400 page views for the sales funnel blueprint course we're getting about maybe 20 page views for the secure checkout page and then about five conversions from that. So uh, one in uh, was it one in four about convert from the secure checkout page who arrived there actually end up buying. And if about 20 people are viewing the secure checkout page out of about 400, obviously the biggest drop off is from the landing page going to that secure checkout page. So our focus would want to be on optimizing that landing page to drive more people into, uh, you know, into actually getting to the checkout stage, right? And we want to look at ways that we can address whatever objections or questions are, are not being answered uh, for our target market on that landing page. So you can kind of see how this gives you instant insights into where your focus should be put. Okay, let's go back to the article now. So the key question is, you know, okay, this sounds great, and you can see the value of it, but how do you actually go about setting it up yourself? Well, first, let's agree on the metrics that you need to track. Uh, you want to be tracking at least across three steps, the top, middle, and bottom of your sales funnel, traffic, uh, leads, and basic key conversions, and sales. All right. And we just went over an example of what that should look like. Uh, now, if you want to get started and you want to implement this on your own, you want to go into Google Analytics and you want to select a new dashboard. It will bring you to a view like this. You want to select blank canvas, create the dashboard. All right. And it gets a little tricky navigating the, uh, the interface and kind of understanding the different jargon that they have here. So to make sure that you're getting the most accurate data and the right data, 
from your, uh, from your sales funnel, what I recommend is follow the exact instructions that I've already laid out here in the article. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can get the link to that article directly below this video. And if you are watching this video, you know, the instructions step-by-step -step for how to navigate the interface uh, and how to set up each widget uh, of your custom dashboard are directly below this video. So at this point, you know, you might be wondering, you know, Matt, my business's funnel is like yours. It has more than one key action in the sales funnel process uh, that is happening offline, you know, because we are a service business. A lot of our sales come in uh, over the phone. We're also doing video chats with a lot of our clients. Uh, so the question would be, how do you track those data points and get Google Analytics to display it in your dashboard, right? Because the more accurate the data is and having the data, you know, from start when people are first coming in and becoming aware of your services or your products or your, your business in general to the point where they're actually buying something from you, you know, that's obviously the desired end result. So how do you get that offline data into Google Analytics? Well, the answer is simple. I recommend using uh, some sort of program that can automatically redirect uh, users to key pages on your website after a key action is taken. So in the case of sales that are happening offline, like over the phone, in person, or through video chat, what you want to do in that case is you, you or your sales staff need to be using uh, a form that can redirect to say a key thank you page that you're tracking and that is set as one of your goals in Google Analytics on your website. Okay, so that is quite simply how you do it. And the best uh, tool that I recommend for doing this is Wufu.com. Wufu is a free online software tool that lets you build and embed forms on your website without even knowing how to code. So you can use it for a variety of situations, but for this application specifically, it is, uh, it is definitely a, um, a worthwhile workaround to implement to get the most accurate data in your uh, custom dashboard. So there's a couple of downsides to uh, tracking your sales funnel this way, and you need to be aware of them so that you know how to minimize um, the issues that might come up from them. So the first one is that uh, Google Analytics will count anyone that hits a specific page uh, on your website. So for example, if your dashboard is uh, set up where I don't know, you, have, you, have a key, you have a key pricing page, for example, and people can only access that pricing page by visiting your landing page and then requesting more information and then they are redirected to that pricing page or to that thank you page meaning that they have converted from being a passive visitor into a lead now, right? And then the trouble is, what if a random person on Google can find that thank you page or find that pricing page? In that case, it's gonna screw up your metrics. So how do you overcome this? Well, a basic workaround would be to say, you know, change the URL to something that people can't guess or can't find in, in Google. Um, however, the, uh, there's a better solution. Okay, and that solution is to set up a Google Analytics goal. You know, this is where uh, you're setting up not just what the specific URL is, but you're also setting up, you know, what is the specific steps that need to be taken uh, in order for the goal to be counted as actually being achieved. Okay, and you want to make sure when you're setting up your goal in Google Analytics, and here's how you do that just to show you here. So you go into your Google Analytics account, click admin, Click on goals, select new goal, give it a name, test, destination, next step. You want to type in the exact URL they're going to land on. So, you know, thank you, test. We can assign a, a value to it, and we want to specify what the funnel is. You know, pre, thank you landing page, you know, whatever, whatever the URL for it is. And you want to set that to be required. So again, when you're displaying the goal metric for this goal in your custom dashboard, you're going to know that the data that's being shown is accurate. It's not just random people who are finding the page through Google, right? This is people who have taken action on your site. Maybe they bought something, 
Uh, maybe they click through from a certain previous page that you wanted them to click through from, um, or they maybe opted in to request a consultation or something along those lines. The second potential pitfall to be aware of is the fact that it is difficult to track revenue with Google, Analy Google Analytics without doing a full uh, custom integration, which requires you hiring a developer, right, and doing some sort of uh, deeper e-commerce integration with Google, Analy Google Analytics. Um, so the, there are two workarounds for this. The first is, as I just briefly touched on a moment ago, you can set a value for each of your goals. And this isn't accurate, but it's better than nothing. So if you know that the average value of a lead, you know, like for us, it might be like $500 is the average value of a lead. Um, we can tell, generally speaking, you know, what, uh, you know, what our revenue should be in terms of the, the amount of leads that we're, we're generating, right? Um, similarly, if we wanted to do this for one of our products, like our sales funnel blueprint, we might assign a value of, you know, let's say if the value of an average customer for that was $100, uh, we would assign a $100 value here, and it wouldn't be 100% accurate, but it would give us a general sense of how many, you know, what, what that flow through actually looks like, you know, so for a thousand visitors on our site, we're generating, you know, 10 cents per visitor and for each, you know, click through conversion, we're generating about a dollar on average, whatever it is. So you can kind of extrapolate and see those breakdowns there. And perhaps an even better workaround, um, which isn't really a workaround, it's just a better longer term solution is to set up a spreadsheet. And this is an easy solution that you can delegate to your virtual assistant uh, to keep it updated on a week to week basis. You can see an example of what that spreadsheet should look like uh, here on the screen right now. So this pulls in data for us because we maintain this uh, spreadsheet ourselves uh, to track our growth on a week to week basis where we're pulling in data from Google Analytics, uh, from ActiveCampaign, which is our email marketing provider. Uh, as well as our CRM, and then also our revenue, which is, uh, which is based on Stripe data. Okay, Stripe is our payment processor. And we're able to get it just in one centralized view, and this is the perfect supplement to the Google Analytics data that we already have and the funnel there that is, again, not 100% accurate, all right? So in conclusion, uh, if you want a sales funnel implemented for your business and you want it done the right way, then we here at Petovera can help uh, because we specialize in website and email sales funnel design. We've helped hundreds of businesses create and launch their own online funnels since 2010. So if you're interested uh, and you want to work with us, request a free 15 minute consultation right now by clicking on the link that you see here on the screen or you can read more about our services and request a consultation uh, by going to petovera.com, okay? And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the comments. Take care.